So today I'm going to show you a foot massage that you can do with your child. You can do this right before bed. It's great for sleep. It's also really great for anxiety to help someone relax at the end of the day uh, and to connect. And if you follow this channel, which you can just by subscribing to this channel and clicking on the bell when you get notifications, you'll see that Opal and I made another video which has been really popular, which is another two minute video that you can give your child right before sleep. So you can extend this into a deeper, wonderful massage just by putting the two of them together. For this massage, there's a couple of things you're going to need. Now this is a massage stick, which you can get by clicking on the link below and it'll take you to Amazon. You can get sticks like this. You can just use a pen. You can use a stick from outside, whatever works for you. I love this stick because you have this smooth kind of rounded edge and it's wider at the top and it's more narrow at the bottom. The wider side is really nice for more general pressure and to kind of ease into places on the foot. And the more narrow side is really good if you want to go deeper or get more precise with your pressure. And then in this one, we're going to use a little bit of, this is a, a shea butter that we're going to use. You can use any kind of cream or whatever you've got on hand. It's all going to be good. And as you'll see, it's a really sweet part of the massage, just taking a little bit of that and putting that on the feet. Now, when you're getting things set up, what I've done here is I'm elevating her feet so that it's closer to my hand level and it's going to make it more comfortable for me to apply the pressure. So all I did is stack a couple of pillows and because I'm using a little bit of cream or shea butter, I put a towel on my pillow. Also, maybe I don't want to have my, my daughter's feet right on my pillow. So the towel is really great for that. And you just play with the height so that when you rock forward, it feels really natural and comfortable that you're just naturally falling into it as you go. And then this is my shea butter. You take a bit, whatever you've got, I want you to massage it into your own hands first and then just start to place it and just put it on their feet. So when you put it, may as well just have some nice strokes and just let that feel really good going into the foot. So that just when you are putting that cream or that shea butter on the foot, it already just feels like a massage. Yeah, it does. Oh, good. And then from here, the first thing I want to do, I'm like a butterfly. I'm just going to be like flapping my wings. You see how my thumbs are going back and forth? So let's just do that on the bottom of her foot. If you want to use your whole body really well, you can see that when my thumbs cross, what I'm doing, I'm going to slow it down for you, rock forward, and that way my whole body is helping my thumbs. And when my thumbs uncross, I rock back and they have a chance to relax. And then I rock forward, my thumbs cross again, and I rock back and they relax. And so the purpose of that is that when you rock forward, all the momentum, all the power is coming from your core. My thumbs are not working very hard at all. And then when you relax, rock back and relax, your thumbs just get a little break and then you can repeat. And then just make a fist and use your knuckles and go up and down on the foot. That same idea, rock forward, let your knuckles sink in, rock back, let your knuckles relax and repeat. Nice and easy, your knuckles are strong and they're just sliding up and down the foot, getting into all these sweet grooves. And then this is one of my favorites where if you can, you're going to interlace your fingers with her toes and then use your thumb and stroke the toe. So we have this sign language, which looks a lot like this, which is I, L for love and U for you. I love you. So. That's what I'm doing to her foot. I'm, I'm just putting my fingers into the spaces of her toes and with my thumb, I'm making that eye motion down the outside of her foot. I'm gonna make an L by letting my thumb go down and under the base of the toe. And then my U comes down under the ball of the foot and then up in between the first and second toe. And there's my U. I <laughs> love you, Opal. I'm going to take my stick and hold it like a pencil, hold her foot, and then I can, first, I can just 
like I'm drawing and just trace down the foot. And so this is getting into the meridians. This is part of that nice relaxation effect that we can give the foot. And then we can also take the other side of the stick and I'm going to circle into a couple of points. So one point is right here. So essentially, as you can see, here's the ball of her foot just under the big toe and then it goes up into this little groove right here. It's a really sweet relaxation spot and the way you apply pressure into these points makes some circles and then sink in and pause and release. Make some circles, sink in, pause and release. And when I say sink in, just like I did before with my hand, rock forward with your body, let the stick rest in the point, release and repeat. So this is a heart and a lung point on the body. And again, it's just really good to help calm the nervous system, relax the body. And I'm going to also press here in the middle of the foot, getting into the abdomen. And again, abdomen is kind of like second brain. This is where we process stress in the body. So spending some good time here is also just really great. So just a couple of good points as part of our massage. And if you want, you can use your stick and just trace up and down the foot a few more times. And then to finish off, I'm going to do my crisscross of applesauce again. And I want to give the foot a nice sweep. And then I would take my shea butter, put it on the other foot, and do the same thing. So Opal, how was that? That was so good. <laughs> Oh, wonderful. So glad you liked it. So if you want to keep on learning about amazing ways to massage your child or massage your partner and people in your life, then head over to my website, stilllightcenter.com. Sign up for the mailing list. Right away, you get an amazing free shoulder massage that you can start learning. We've got a whole suite of online courses, an amazing community of people, as well as checking out the playlist over here on YouTube. We've got over 120 videos for you to try all kinds of things with the people that you love. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Thanks so much.